he was turned around doing something in a bag, and he wasn't anywhere, and he wasn't yeah. touching you at all. Yep. Even if his arm had hit back, had moved back, you would have felt his elbow. Yeah. Not a tug. Yes. So that was strange. Um, that was really strange. And then when I was talking about it, yeah. Joe Chin, when I was talking to Joe, he mentioned, and this is, uh, please, with, with a grain of salt here, Joe was in the men's room <laughs> doing yeah. his business, <laughs> and something touched him from behind. Yeah. And he's like, why is somebody touching me while I'm standing here? Yes. And he turned around, and there was no one there. Yes. <laughs> Right? So, I mean, things were trying to get our attention, you know? Nothing yes. happened to me in the hotel, but I just think I'm closed off, and I don't really. But, yes. I mean, because even to people around me, things were happening. And uh, little things here and there, just, you know, little unexplainable, yeah, strange little occurrences that were happening to people Yeah. during the day. And then, of course, the ghost hunts. I mean, I think almost every single person had some kind of experience on the ghost hunts. Yeah. It was one of the more active events I think I've ever attended. Yeah. Um, oh, and, yeah. You know, and it was, we had four locations. We had the library at the Hawthorne. Mm-hmm. We had Witch Tees. Which was awesome. Which was amazing. We had their basement, which yeah. we got incredible activity. Yeah. Uh, we were, in, in that basement, there was, in one section of it, they were using a Ouija board. Yeah. And in the other section, they were using Echo Box. Right. And both areas were super active. Probably by far the most active location there. Witch Tees is right on Essex Street. So if you're in Salem um, and you're right in the uh, downtown walking vendor area, stop into Witch Tees. Say hi to Joan there, the owner. She loves telling stories. She has so many stories oh, yeah. about that place. Talk to her. Say, hey, I heard uh, people from Salem, Salem Con were here. Mention Salem Con. You know, she's she's awesome. She's very open to it. But that's Witch Tees in downtown yeah. Salem. And, um... and then we, we worked with... Uh, Tim McGuire over at Remember Salem and uh, the Why Not Wand Wand Shop. Activity in those two locations, too. Somebody shared a video with me today of uh, some some things that happened to them in Why Not Wand Shop. Right. Where they captured EVPs while Dustin was was talking. Really? Yes. Were they doing an investigation or were they just chatting? They were using the dowsing rods. Dustin was using the dowsing rods, so he was doing a a small investigation with them. Um, And they captured two EVPs that coincided with the answers they were getting from the dowsing rods. It's interesting because a girl on my tour, had, uh, on, in my group, had dowsing rods, but I was kind of in and out, of, yep. so I didn't really see much of what was going on. I wonder if that's when we were there. Maybe. Wow. It, it's possible. You might have been downstairs with Jeff. That's what time. I'm saying. I might have been, yeah. No, because it was Group B. And Group B was, um, group B was uh, Mike with Mike, yeah. So Group A was started off at what do you call it? So there was group oh, I had Group D. I we started off in the library. That's right. Uh, right. No, I had Group D. Anyway, no, where are we going? Anyway. Anyway. Okay, anyway. whatever. Anyway, so point is, point is, is that there was activity. No, hold on. No. You have to wait while we argue over what group we had. No. And um, <laughs> and then with with um, GBSG. Yeah. And uh, in the in the bo- in the bottom of the Hawthorne in the library. Yeah, we were get yeah we were getting some really good stuff. I mean to the point where I actually had to say I'm really sorry to interrupt, but we've got to go. Yeah, you know. And that there seemed to be a theme is there was times where people wanted to linger and stay, and um and it was tough because not being able to not being able to take everybody and 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 you know, stay at a whole location or yeah. or give you as much time as you want, kind of cut into things. But the fact that we were getting enough activity that people wanted to stay, yeah. that, was, that was awesome. Yeah. Well, then it's a double-edged sword because then you can say, all right, well, we'll only have four locations and you have to stay at your location. But what if one of them is quiet that night? Right. Then those people really don't get, ha- have a good experience. Right. Then everybody so, else you know, does, yeah. You have to give everyone a yeah. turn. And Even with the fact that one group, I think, did not get to go to Witch Tees. Yeah. Um, because of the way that it, it broke out, it was it was there was confusion. Yeah, they still had an amazing time. Yeah, and they still had a lot of stories and had a lot of activity happen. So, right. um, you know, those are the couple of things that happened for us. Um, I'd like to, well, not I, but we would like to open up uh, the phones now. Okay, take some calls. What do you think? Yeah, let's, do it. let's take some phone calls. The call in number is seven one three nine five five. Zero three eight four, mm-hmm. and uh, as we get calls, we'll bring you on the air. You'll be live coming onto the air, so uh, you know we're not a PG show, but uh, at least uh, give us a second to know who you Don't are. Don't Grunwald it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but yeah, feel free to call in, share some of your stories from Salem Con and what happened to you, and what uh, maybe things that uh, questions, comments, concerns. 
Maybe you just want to talk about life. I don't know. I don't know. Talk about anything. Go for it. But uh, and if, maybe you want to give a shout out and well wishes to John Zaffis. I'm sure he's not listening. But uh, maybe you want to give a shout out oh. to, to John Ziggity uh, and uh, Ziggity. Maybe yeah. I'm. Oh, yeah. Ziggity. But um, we have people popping in and popping popping out because uh, again, I don't think the audio is translating over to to uh, the what do you call it to the server. So okay. I'm just going to keep posting the audio link to audio link blog talk. Okay. So blog talks audio link. I'll post that again. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think of anything else that happened that was really like whoa. Well, know? gosh, we had people send us pictures of waking up in their hotel room with bruises on their arm. Oh my god, yeah. We heard stories of somebody's water bottle in their hotel room getting whacked off the window sill. That gave me the chills. That was I. I get the chills now thinking about that. So um, we have a, we have someone calling into the show. Okay. You are live on Paranormal Hangover. Who's this? Hello. Christine. <laughs> I was wondering if you knew it was me. <laughs> <laughs> we got you. How are you? Boy, Mark, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. How about you? We're doing fantastic. We're recovered. Recovered, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. Today I feel recovered as well. <laughs> I have, like, all these echoes going on. <laughs> so, you know, uh, hit mute hit the, on, the, uh, on the audio on the on the laptop. Hit mute for wherever it is it's coming from. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, do I'm that gonna right, do now. right now. There you go. All right. Are, all you, right. There? are you there? We are here. How's that? Oh, uh, that's oh, even that's better. better. Nice. <laughs> I thought it was the voices, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that happens with us. <laughs> But anyway, I had a great story. Um, after the VIP party on Friday night, Dave DeLise, Janet Kelly, and myself, we took off for the cemetery, you know, okay. in the town square. And yep. um, we, we had just gotten in, and Janet and I started taking some digital pictures. My camera just dies. I mean, it's broken. The shutter lens won't even close. And wow. hers, hers was broken as well. So we were standing by, you know, the only crypt that's in there above ground. Yep. Okay. And all of a sudden, it felt like somebody, like, stabbed me in the left side of my back, and it went all the way up to my shoulder blades, the pain. I mean, I was Ooh. literally on my knees. And Ooh. Janet helped me up. Yeah, this really happened. Janet helped me up, and, and I went on the outside of the cemetery, and I sat there for a few minutes. So Dave was in the back, and Janet was, you know, doing her EVPs. And the next thing I know, I see this, like, 15-pound white rabbit run by me in the cemetery is like coming right at me. Right. Wow. Side, yeah, towards the side gate. And the strange thing about this rabbit, it was it had those elongated ears. So wow. here I am. I didn't have a camera, so I, I got up and I, I went to go find where the rabbit went. And I'm looking everywhere and there was no rabbit. So a couple minutes later, Janet and Dave were done doing whatever, and we're standing there, like, do um, you know where Bridget Bishop's uh, little stone is? Yes. Yep. I, was, I was on the outside of the cemetery, and Dave and Janet were just walking towards me when this black cat came out of nowhere and ran in front of us. So wow. anyway, yeah, it was, it was the coolest thing, and Dave Delise actually has pictures of the rabbit and the cat. Oh, wow. So he's so, yeah, he's going through them for us so, you know, he can post them. So anyway, in the last session with uh, uh, John Zaffis and Brian Cano was there, you know, I was telling him the story, and he was telling me the symbolizations for the black cat, which we all know, but I didn't realize that the white rabbit was used by the witches for good spells. You know, it was like a good luck charm. Wow. And how wow. They can, yeah, and how they can change like, first seeing the white rabbit, you know, John was trying to explain, like, that was something good for me to see. But then it might have changed into the black cat, like, as a warning to get the hell out of there. So I just wanted to share that story because it was the coolest thing ever. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just got a lump in my throat. Like, I was going to vomit when I, when, I, when I heard that. <laughs> yeah, you know, in, in, in the hotel, I really didn't experience anything. But outside the hotel was a different story, like witches' teas. That was, I was there when... One of the women in the tunnel. We were with the naked investigator guy, and <laughs> she, she was standing up. You know, and her back was towards the back part of the tunnel, 
and another lady was sitting to the left of me, and we both looked up, and, you know, as soon as she went out, and I literally seen her head go backwards from an invisible, you know, it was like an invisible force pulled her head back, and she screamed and lunged forward. So yeah, after that, was that, that, was, that was our friend Jonice. Yes. Yeah, we heard about that. Yes. Yeah, but I, I did witness it, and it was like, wow. And then she got, like, touched on her leg as well during the wow. session we were in there. Yeah, so it was pretty cool stuff. I really, it was a great time. I, it was wonderful. You guys wow. did a phenomenal job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, I love, love I love all my friends. You know, you guys <laughs> are just, yeah, we and um, we I wanted to love- say. <laughs> what? Go ahead. Go ahead, Go ahead. talk, Marco. We absolutely love and appreciate how supportive you are, and and Janet is also of of the things that we do. And, you know, we just – all we want is that when you're you're at some of our events that you have a good time. That's the only thing we want, and I'm glad that it sounds like that happened for you. Exactly. That's what I'm there for. I'm there to learn, first of all. But I I love to go to these events because I support my friends. I'm not there selling you anything. I'm not, you know – it's just because of that. It's because of the people that are involved. People don't realize – how many great people are in this field? Because right. everybody I've come across in the past four years, I mean, they're just lovely people. Yeah, right. They really and are. Isn't it, isn't it, like, just mind-boggling to know that something like that happens to you in the cemetery, and you can go back and ask John Zaffis what he thinks about your experience? Like, yeah, because he's right there that? on the site. Yeah, who that was, like, the that? thing. Yeah. I know. Right? So I feel very privileged in that perspective. It, you know, yeah. it was awesome. Because he's right there. Because you guys put him there. That's you know the whole point of it. Oh. He was there <laughs> to answer the question. Hey Mark, I think you were in there. You know when I was telling the story. Yeah, I do remember. I, thought, I do remember you telling that story. I didn't get a. I don't think I got a chance to hear the reaction from John because it was getting pulled in so many different directions. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah. I know, but when um, we were there at the last session, you know how we did like the round table EDT. Yes. with all the people, and then yes. John asked the question, how do you see us? And he yes. says it twice, and then as soon as he's done, you hear, as light, just like that. And I've captured yeah. that on my EDP as well. So oh it's pretty God. cool. We want, every, yeah, we, want you, yeah. we want you to share the EDPs, like share them, put them on, on the SalemCon Facebook page, share all that yeah. stuff. We can make that like our own little mini database of yeah. the event. You know, if everyone shares things like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as yeah. soon as I get a chance to upload them in the computer, I'll try and get them over to there. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Or, you know, even I was just doing it, you know, while I was walking today, listening, you know, and doing my thing. Oh, my That's goodness. awesome. Oh. I know, I yeah. get chills. <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 I know. know. We seriously want to do over. We want to go back <laughs> and, uh, yes. and, and, go, and do it. That's why I put that post up, like, oops, somebody moved. Time to go <laughs> back. <laughs> Gotta go back. <laughs> I, I want to do... I want to do like a six day John, you know, and just go, and then you don't have to worry about coming back to reality <laughs> for at least yeah, those six exactly. days. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and listen, I believe me, we don't take for granted the fact that Salem is like a fifteen, or well, not fifteen, but a half hour train ride from us. We go as often as we can, and you know, there are times where we go and and you you walk around that cemetery you were in during the daytime, and you just feel the energy know, that's I around. Was, yeah. Oh yeah, you know? I was there Sunday morning doing the same thing. But, um, yeah. you know, it, that was my first time, believe it or not, in Salem. And I live in northwest Connecticut. And um, yeah. a lot of people have gone to that, and they loved it. I just never went. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. But I'm so I'm so happy that I did because it was just a beautiful place, too, full of history, really rich oh, in history. Uh, and, you know, while I have you guys on the phone, I just wanted to say, God bless John's assets. I'm glad that he's okay. And I just wanted to say a shout-out to Steve DeShivey because hey. – Missed him at Salem Con. Damn it, I wanted him there. <laughs> <laughs> and we he, all did. <laughs> and yeah, and he's got the shingles or something going on. I don't know. He's had a lot of health problems. So I just wanted to say, hey, we love you and we missed you. That's yeah, what he gets for moving to Florida. Damn it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He couldn't take the the New England winters anymore, like us. You know. <laughs> awesome. What, Christine, you know, thank thank you for calling in, Christine. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, get on to someone else. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> well, thank, thank you. you. Love thank you. Bye bye. Love you. Bye bye. That was our friend Christine Stickney. She that's was... an awesome story, oh, by the way, God. with the rabbit and then the cat. That's just like, that's the kind of thing that you hear and you're like, yeah, okay, and then you experience it. You know, that's just really cool. It's um, it's it's interesting because she experienced that not knowing 
the um, implication, not, like what it what that, what it means. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Not knowing what's behind it, and then you sit down and, like you said, you have the opportunity to talk to John Zaffis about this. Yeah. 